I-264 in Virginia Beach. Thousands are hitting Virginia roads for the 4th. But no matter when you're driving, leaders with the transportation nonprofit are warning Virginians to take it easy. A new report shows fatal crashes have increased more than 20% in just the last decade. Emily Harrison explains. According to AAA, around 71 million people will travel at least 50 miles this holiday weekend. That's up 5% from last year. And it's why leaders with the National Transportation Research Nonprofit are urging drivers to be aware out on the roads. Within the last decade, researchers estimate Virginia's traffic fatalities have increased 24 percent, with a particular spike seen back in 2022 and at the start of the COVID-19 pandemic. Drivers were faced with wide open roads as vehicle travel did plummet. And so faced with these wide open roads, drivers who were on the road began to adopt riskier behaviors. This includes speeding, driving while under the influence and reckless driving. Now in 2024, travel is back to pre-pandemic levels, but Carolyn Kelly with Trip says these behaviors have not gone away. What we're seeing now is an easing in that trend, but fatalities are still left at a rate that's significantly higher than what they were a decade ago. The result is more fatal and serious crashes on Virginia roads. It's a problem researchers estimate is costing the Commonwealth billions of dollars. Traffic fatalities and crashes caused a total of $34.1 billion. Now that's the value of societal harm, and that includes $8.5 billion in economic costs and then an additional $25.7 billion in quality of life costs. Leaders with TRIP are pushing for more road safety improvements, like adding shoulders and rumble strips to Virginia roadways so that driving mistakes do not become fatal crashes. Emily Harrison, 13 News Now. And during the Independence Day holiday weekend last year, Virginia State Police recorded seven traffic fatalities across the state. And VSP is doing its part to keep Virginia roads safe this week. Operation CARE launched yesterday. It's a nationwide program aimed at reducing crashes and cracking down on impaired driving. More troopers are filling the interstates from now until Sunday night. If you don't want a ticket, VSP says it's simple. Just follow the speed limit, buckle up, and don't drive distracted or drunk. If you do decide to have a little to drink tonight, Drive Safe Hampton Roads has you covered. You can get $15 off a lift ride home until 3 a.m. tomorrow morning. All you have to do is enter the code on your screen in the Lyft app's payment tab. If you can't write the code down right now, no worries. It is posted on drivesafehr.org. Just click on 757 Sober Ride. Yeah, so